hope you are having an amazing Thursday morning. So thankful for Luke joining me this morning. Luke is my husband. We are uh, going on, it's going to be three years May. Time's flying. Time just flies when you're having fun, right, babe? Time is flying. Wow. What a time. Three years and I get to make it on her uh, her own Stop. program. So <laughs> We just started. You know what I'm saying? We've only done this one other time. The next three so years will go stronger. That should say. That should say a lot. Who knows what I'll be invited to Stop. in uh, three years. <laughs> But uh, we want to hear from you guys, so let us know when you're tuning in from, and we'll start getting this going. I'm not sure if that chat thing is up, um, but as soon as we see, what's up, Instagram? What's up, IGTVs? Tell me where you're watching from. Are you watching from the office, the car, work? What are, are you doing like a painting job, you know, what's up? And you just have it going on live, listening for some for some content. What's up, Ingrid? I love you. You are amazing and such a precious soul. You really are. Hello. Yes. If you're, if you're watching from work, thank you. <laughs> you don't know how much that means that you're listening to I me. Mean, you're a real and one. my wife. You're a real one. You know, yeah. like you're working your job, you're at your desk or wherever, and then you're just like, here, I'm going to just grow in the Lord. Yeah. If you want to know who I truly love, it's who I listen to at work, you know? Yeah. No. When my right. wife calls, I answer. Wow. Right? Yeah, all the time, every call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't even know if you have a voicemail, babe. You just answer on the first ring. But we're so excited for uh, today, this morning. Um, we started with memes with Marissa, and so I've got some funny memes to throw your way. So we're going to go ahead and um, hit them at you. Here is our first meme. Or actually, here's our video. For the Those are prayer hands. You got to hit the praise hands. Mm. Stay praising. Stay praising. That's good. So this is Baby Yoda. I we're all right here. But on all right here. This is this is where we feel Baby Yoda. Yeah. We relate with Baby Yoda on a personal level. In here. Baby Yoda wants to eat. Baby Yoda walks with a force. Shout out to Brenna, almost as much as Brenna. We vibe with with Baby Yoda almost as much as Brenna. <laughs> I love you, Brenna. <laughs> you have a wonderful husband. the coffee apartment. Hey, we're just going to <laughs> Okay, bet. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Look at this nasty graphic, babe. Put the crown. That's so nasty. All right, when you clock in at 7, work for 4 hours and realize it's only 7:05. <laughs> How relatable. If that's relatable for you, just go ahead and <laughs> burn out. Are we <laughs> done yet? <laughs> Scold. <laughs> Right? You're like, oh, man, now I have to work all the way till <laughs> 5. Here we are. If you've done that, go ahead and uh, let us know in the comments. Just say, yep, me. Just go let ahead us, and, let go us ahead tell on yourself. Let us know the time frame that your full day goes to. Like, is it 30 yeah. minutes and you're, and you're done? Or are you a show up and I'm out type of person? Or do you never stop working? Oof. You know? I can't really. We need those that. people. Yeah, those people are we necessary. Don't, we don't vibe with them. We but don't. we need them. Yeah, we don't. Other people might. You might be one of those yeah. people that just. We just see them. We're like, hey, stop working. Yeah. Just, you know, chill out. Yeah. Watch a movie. Take a bubble bath or something. Yeah. A That's a good one, babe. A bubble bath? That's a good one. Respect. Light a candle. All right. Meme number two. Light a candle. Here we go. <laughs> I can't wait for you to see this, to see this one, babe. Sorry, I got to stay it's in the. It's hilarious. Okay. 
So I know you do. I know. Oh, okay. I know. I'm visualizing. But it's so funny. It's so accurate. <laughs> oh, I thought you were, I thought you were gonna explain it to me. Oh, there oh. it is. Angels in the Bible, don't be afraid. Also, angels in the Bible <laughs> with all the eyes all over them. <laughs> uh, yeah, tw- twenty-one wings. It's true. Eighty, it's so eighty true, eyes. Right? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah. What is this? Yeah. <laughs> like you look like that. This isn't angels in the outfield, okay? <laughs> They're not. Yeah, they don't. They do not like have that. baseball jerseys. Right? They're and nice wings. They're not trying to get on the field with you. And yeah, <laughs> get you a homer. <laughs> They're here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> meme Glory. Three, the last meme of the day, which is accurate for a lot of people. Very accurate for me, I would say. Definitely. You know, when we go and we get food. Oh. And the food. Oh. I hold the food because you're the one driving. Yeah. So the food is definitely in the passenger seat. Oh, and man. And so if you're, the, you know, in the passenger seat, you're holding everybody's food. Yeah. And so sometimes you're even going to Chick-fil-A, but here it is, me in the passenger seat eating everybody's fries <laughs> but mine. <laughs> when, I was, when I was younger, I would get a fry out of, like, t- one or two fries out of, like, all three or four, like, whoever's all the meals were for. Yeah. Just to make, like, a little snack before I got home. <laughs> But you got to take one out of each one, mm. you know. You can't. You, gotta you level can't. It out. Yeah, you can't dig into yeah. one because then you get stuck with that one later, and you're just eating your own fries. Yeah. Got to eat other people's fries. And then you don't want to eat your own fries. Like you want to do it in a way where you have the more. Fri- I, you know. Yeah. No. the 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 name of the game is eat all the fries you can. Right. And so if you're only going after your stack. And no. they smell so good. Exactly. When you're starving and you're the one holding them, everyone's distracted, driving. It's not just money that's laid out for the just. It's French French fries, especially Chick-fil-A French fries. But you got to have some sauce because I know some people that eat. I'll eat it just. I'll eat it fresh. I know some people that eat Chick-fil-A fries without sauce. and. It's so good. Yeah. I'll be. But you like sauce on everything, though. Like you really like. You got to. I'm a sauce man. Yeah, Luke will literally put um, <laughs> oh man, so much flavoring in one dish. Yes. Like, you just love it. Garlic. There's garlic lovers out there. I made this amazing dish for my wife one time, and to make a long story short, I completely botched it, and uh, the top of the salt fell off, and a whole mound fell on the, uh, on the pan. And so I tried to scrape it off. Yeah. Didn't happen. Our it? food was grainy. I finished it, but you that's know. that's hilarious. I really wish I could read these these. Uh, I can see that. Hold on. I really wish I could. Yeah, just bring it closer. But I don't know if it's gonna be in the the shot. Do you see it? Those sentences. I really wish I could read them. What do you think, babe? I bet it. kids, I bet kids hawk your food all the time. Is there any way we can bring this one closer without it being in the, yeah. I mean, they could see our, our rig for it, you know. I know, I was a big kid. Yeah. Just so I can read those two. I can for sure read. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's good. I still can't no, read it. One? Ah, you can go back. I'll it read doesn't it make you. a difference. Looks great. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It looks it's great. On. You can I can back. see it. You can put no. it back. No, I, no. It doesn't make it. No, because the angle, babe. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You're thinking about the words. I forgot you people can see us. Yeah, <coughs> there it is. Okay, so we're super excited for today. Uh, if you have your Bibles, go ahead and go to Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 15, because that is going to be the verse for today. And so this verse says this. I'm going to go ahead and get into it. It says this. It says, so... I recommend having fun because there is nothing better for people in this world than to eat, drink, and enjoy life. That way they will experience some happiness along with all the hard work God gives them under the sun. So today what we're talking about, the title is We Just Have Fun Here. We just have fun here. And honestly, like that's Luke and I's life, really. It is. We, I mean, when we met, 
we actually met at the gym at 24 Hour Fitness. And um, when we started, you know, talking, talking with words, uh, using speech. But what's, like, so attracted us to each other is that we just, like, we were just happy people. I was a happy person. He was a happy person. And so we literally would just laugh. We would just be goofy. And, like, that was one thing that I loved about Luke is that I could be myself around him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could be my goofy self. I could be – I could have fun. I could be free. Like, it was that. And same, like, vibe and energy. If you know anything about Luke, like, he is just, to me, the life of the party. He could walk into a room, and you already know the energy just went up 10 decibels. Like, it's just – like, that's just Luke. Like, I know you look at him, and you're like, oh, my gosh, he's going to he's gonna kill me. He's going to destroy me. Like, he'll rip me up with his bare hands. Like, this might be a Samson guy, you know? Oh. Yeah, he can do that, but honestly, like, he's just, like, so much fun. He has so much energy. Um, sometimes I'll be, like, we still work out at the gym years later. And so, anyways, um, I'll be at the gym, and I won't see him for, like, 15 minutes. I'm like, babe, where were you? And he's like, oh, I was talking to so-and-so. Like, he's just so much, like, fun to be around. You really are, babe. <laughs> Man, people at the gym. <laughs> so. so there's some talkers at the gym. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Social hour. You know what I'm saying? And Luke loves working out. He does. That's one of the things that we – so, yes, we met each other at the gym because we both actually liked working out and still do. So, And honestly, talking about it um, right now, you should do things in your life that you like – to do like I don't know why it's this thing especially like in Christianity where it's like a woe is me like I have to be sad I have to be down like that's not biblical that is not I mean we just read the verse that said enjoy life and who wrote Ecclesiastes that was Solomon Solomon said the wisest man that the Bible says ever lived said enjoy life listen Listen, Linda, Linda, if you're listening, if you're watching this, you need to listen. Linda, listen. Because life isn't meant for you to endure. It's meant for you to enjoy. It's not meant for you to get by. It's not meant for you to struggle. It's not meant for you to, here's another Monday. Why? Can I just harp on Mondays for a second? Get it. Because Mondays start with an M, so I feel like I... Like, out of respect, I should give it, you know, some respect. Get it. Why does does any day of your week have to be, like, a down day? If that's the truth, if Monday's that for you, then do something on a Monday that you like to do. And why is that? Like, why should you feel bad doing something that you like to do? Enjoy life. That's what the Bible says. We like to go to the gym. I know that's crazy. Some of you listening, like, oh, gosh, I could throw up. Okay, some of y'all run marathons. That sounds crazy to me. I want to throw up listening to that. Yeah, we don't run. (laughs) If I'm playing a sport or something, like, that's fun for me. Like, I'm getting tricked into doing cardio. Like, that's so much fun for me. But, weights, like, weights and slow movements is, <laughs> is what our gym time looks yeah, like. Yeah, the, the, the bigger the weight. <laughs> the slower the movement, huh? Come on, it's a great day to have a great day. There you go. Yes, Oh, yeah. Yes. Come on, you love Mondays? I like you, Tina. I like you. I really do. I it's really do. It's a great day. <laughs> but for real, <laughs> like, there shouldn't be a bad day out of your week. Like, yeah. That, that's that's plan. Why would you look life is going to come at you however it comes at you. So why would you plan or why would you already expect a bad day? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous to me. So what's today? Today's Thursday, right? Yeah. So we've had services all week. We've done, you know, um, all these things that we've had planned. And so today what we do on Thursdays is we go to the gym. And we will literally be there for three to four hours. You say, that's crazy. Well, we get to do what we want to do in that time because we have the time to do it. You know, we don't have a service tonight, so what are we going to do? Well, since it's that gym time, gym day, we're going to go, you know, work out, stretch like we want to, you know, all the things. Maybe eat some pho. Exactly. There's a place. And even when we get done working out, there's a place right next door that we enjoy eating at, that we have a good time. And so it's. 
And another thing, even like on like with the Mondays, it's like, like if you're a, if you're a couple or anything like that, like make Monday your date night. You know, like if Mondays really are that bad or or whatever, like like create things in your life that even if let's say let's say Monday is your roughest you know day as far as you know tasks maybe that you have to to, to complete that day make something be intentional by putting something in your life that's going to make your day end well like genuinely that you're looking forward to all day you know and be excited about that like that's what creates you know joy is being excited and hopeful for the future you know yeah um i mean and that's the thing like it's just almost like people beat themselves up or it's not cool to like have fun i don't know you know what i'm saying like it's this thing and i think it's like the whole grown-up aspect and like adult adulthood whenever people get caught up in like thinking that they have to lose their joy to be serious or whatever there's like really really successful people that are the most goofy people in the world just because they surround themselves with fun people they have a joy doing what they do every day so they want to show up to work every day they want to you know you know you got to create that environment and that's the thing like environment is huge if not everything for that i mean when we go to our our and you control your own environment exactly you know it's not your it's not your boss you know some of you might be bosses so you literally have the the uh, ability to create your own environment but like if you're an employee like you still control your environment, you know? Um, Go on, but I just wanted to, Yeah, no, you're right. Like, even coming to, like, the office here. Like, I have, you know, the office set up, like, how I like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's minimalist. It's, like, cute to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything I, you know, it's clean. And so it's those things. If I want... And Alani knew I'm opening up my mini fridge and getting one out. Marissa's perfect room is like a completely white room with like one tiny plant in a corner and like maybe a picture of us. I would do great in an insane asylum. I'm just yeah, that. yeah. That's <laughs> her. If you want to know her decor, look up an insane asylum. Minus You'll the never go I wrong. Do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because we're not bound. Amen. Praise God. But not only that, like our um, our place. I mean, it's it's clean. You know, it's even right now we have Christmas stuff up because it's not clean because of me. I'll tell you that much. Love Christmas. I like to clean. <laughs> she does like. To I clean. I like to clean. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Uh, but I like for things to be clean. I like. I feel. You know what I'm That's saying? Her his- like Hispanic side comes out <laughs> and. And she likes to clean. I literally was like, okay, two loads of laundry yesterday, <laughs> went to the gym, did folded two loads, um, put them on hangers and stuff, and then I'll be on the uh, I'll be on the game. You know, it's touching midnight, getting late. You know, so people are supposed to go to bed, and uh, you know, I look up from the game, lights keep coming on and off and everything. Marissa's cleaning the kitchen, doing a load of laundry, like thawing out chicken for the next day. I'm like, <laughs> go to bed. Thawing out chicken. I'm just, I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm like, whatever. Not for and, me. And, and then, okay, and then there's the Christmas decor that we have right now. Like, Ooh. I really like flock trees, you know, where the snow is on flock. there. I like my favorite color is white, and I love snow. So she loves snow. I do love snow. I could just bask in some snow, you know? That's what, that's what we're going to do. And not only that, like, we plan our life, like, around that stuff. In two weeks, we will be in Colorado in actual snow. We're going to be in actual bah, 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 snow bah. and mountains and beautiful, like, scenery, everything. And so that's something that we enjoy doing. And so for us, it's, of course, we want to do that. Of course, we're going to make time to do that. But it's not only, like, the big things like our trip to Colorado or where we're going to travel. It's in the everyday. Like, we go home. And and not only that, like, he talked about eating after the gym, like, eating out. But for us, honestly, like, a great, like, night is us either making food ourselves or getting food. Lately, we've been making a lot of food. And eating it at home. Exactly. Like, we just love chilling, just watching a good movie, and just eating it in
in our living room. Look, I was a waiter at one point, and I know, I know that you must give good tips, right? And that's the one thing. Like, I'm, I will give good tips. I'm not going to ever short a, uh, a, uh, a waiter, you know, waiter or waitress. But I'm also smart enough to know I can just save my tip if I get it to go, huh? And be in the comfortability of my own living room. So that's our plan. I like, well, I like to cook. You like to cook, too. Yeah, we do like to cook. I'm just for to-go's. Right, right, right. For to-go's, I'm like. You have a mentality. And we're usually sweating. It's usually after a gym. That's true. So we're like, do we want to just let our <laughs> our salt just accumulate on the top of our skin while we try to look good and uh, and eat at a restaurant, or do we just want to take it home, eat our own, eat in our own filth? You know what I'm saying? This is what Ghostly Luke said. Yeah, this is she's the clean one. Yeah. Go as ahead and read can, that verse. As in you Psalms. can tell from my. Escape convict hair. Okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. Oh, let's see. Man, anger. It's crazy. It's crazy that I have to talk about anger. No, I'm just playing. Um, Psalm 35, 35, not 35. For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may last through the night, but joy comes with the morning. Mm, mm, mm. I love it. Yeah, what do you love about it? What do you mean even say? It speaks <laughs> for itself, you know? Like, truly. I get, I get that, that things come our way and we, and we battle stuff and we did it. But, like, joy will come in the morning. Like, you don't have to. Like, there is periods for, for, for mourning with a U in it, right? Um things happen in life, but like the Bible does not, nowhere in the Bible does it say stay in your self pity, stay in, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Stay in doubt, stay in da 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 for his anger lasts only a moment. So like, yeah, God is a jealous God. God has, it, it's in the Bible. God gets angry at things, right? But even his, even our almighty creator's anger only lasts for a moment, right? But yeah, his favor, Psalm 35. Do you want that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Psalm 30, verse 5. Psalm, Psalm 30, verse 5. There you go. Verse. That's what I was missing. I did the. Yeah. Dot, dot. The Psalm dots. 30, and then your dots hit, and 30, then it's the 5. 5. Um, but yeah, weeping may last through the night, but joy comes in the morning. Yeah, joy is so important. Like, we're told to rejoice like we're told joy be is joyful strength. yeah exactly <clears throat> and you have to be joyful like it's not just something that happens um you don't wake up just joyful i mean like you truly have to um uh, is it smith wigglesworth that um you'll mm -hmm. you'll know who i'm talking about yeah, if, for like if, 15 minutes, praises yeah every like, every yeah. morning he wakes up like 6 a.m and just and, and praises god for like 10 or 15 minutes and just dances around with him like yeah. that's that's waking up and choosing to put yourself in a joyful in a joyful yeah, position and a joyful mood. Yeah. Um, Being intentional. Definitely. Like you have to put it into your schedule. You have to put joy into your schedule. You know, it's not just going to sneak in there. Like it's something that you have to. It's given by God, but you have to create room for it. You know. I mean, you can't just like. If news comes your way, like, what do you do with that? Like, yeah. how do you react? How do you, res do, or do you react or do you respond? Mm. Because That's anything good. can happen, especially nowadays, especially with social media, you can get a hot off the press, something that's going on in the world right now, going on in America, or even your life. You can get a text, a phone call, and right then and there, like, do you still choose to stay in joy? And the Bible says in Philippians 4, 4, always, go ahead and write always in the comments, always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. This scripture set verse doesn't say always have joy. It says always be full of joy. Mm. Be full of joy. Because be there, is, there joy. is a difference. There's yeah. a difference between your joy and God's joy, right? 
like the 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 it even right so to stay in psalm by the way great book if you want to read about like the joyful things of god and how to stay joyful everything like that psalm hit it up um, psalm 1611 you will show me the path of life in your presence is fullness of joy at your right hand are pleasures forevermore um in your presence is fullness of joy right so like yeah we can we can be uh, uh saved again we have christ on the inside of us right um so like we 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 can we can have joy come out of us right but to be full of joy you have to be in god's presence first um for that to happen you know and you live and it's not like okay i pray in the morning and then that's it like okay that is with you. You carry that. You're a carrier of joy. So you stay full. You're full at work. You're the person at work who has a smile on their face. You're the person at work. They just gave that bad news about the company, and you're full of joy. Like, you're that. As a Christian, you're that. There shouldn't be a standard that's dropped, that's not biblical. Like, you're the happy one. Forget everybody else. Forget the friend next to you in the cubicle. Like, you child of God, son and daughter of God, you're the one who's always full of joy, no matter what. That's it. Always be full of joy. Rejoice in everything. We enter into his gates with praise and thanksgiving. You can't, and that, I love the fact that that was like the guideline, the go-to for how you even come and enter God. Like if he's saying you have to praise and lift up and then not only that, be thankful, like Come on, somebody. Like, God doesn't like complainers. He doesn't like critical people. And he doesn't like unhappy people. Like, it's not a cute thing. Like, it's not attractive to God. It might be attractive to a certain group of friends you might have, to certain people who live a certain way. But it's not attractive to God. And not only that, to godly, to godly people who are full of joy, it's not attractive to them. I will tell you this much. I run away from people who are unhappy. I run away from them. I'm just going to let you know all my life. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you a secret about me. Not even a secret because it's it's not a secret. I run away from people who are like, woe is me, like always, like, oh, my gosh, like life is terrible, like always have a bad day, bad week, bad month, bad life, like, oh, like, Oh, like, do not throw up on me because, one, you're not even following out the first and foremost thing to enter into his gates with praise and thanksgiving. Like, if that's your relationship with God, that's how it should be, period. That's how you should live life. Like, be thankful. Be thankful for what you have. Thank you, Lord, that there's breath in my lungs. Thank you, Lord, that I have a plan on my life that you promised me that you're going to, like, how can you not be thankful when you know who God is? It's, it blows my mind the fact that people can say they know the word and live with this persona and attitude that just comes off as death. How can you just, like, just have death come off on people when the Bible and the word of God and the Holy Spirit is life. And Jesus said, I've come to give life and life more abundantly. It doesn't, it doesn't happen. It, it, it doesn't make sense. Something, we have to ask the question somewhere because something isn't adding up. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because it's got to be done away with. Like, okay, I get it. Like something bad happened. Okay something bad came your way. Yeah, but that's not like an everyday thing and that's not your identity. People want to cling to that as your ide- as an identity. This sickness, my si- no! Why is that your sickness when the Bible says that it's not? That's not you. H- homie, that ain't you. That ain't you. That ain't you. From this day forward, that ain't you and that ain't your mentality. That's the thing. If the enemy can get you to think that that's you, and get you in a mindset that that's how life's supposed to be, then not only will you live like that, you're going to sound like it, whether you realize it or not. People sound like that. They get up and they get a mic, or they get up and, and you're listening to them. They get up and you sit down and have coffee with them. Yeah, I'm walking through the valley mm-hmm. of the shadow of death. Wow. 
Holy cow. Man, you must be like David. Someone might be coming after you, trying to kill you. Sounds Goodness. miserable. Wow, you must. Wow. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I know I'm being extra, but at the same time, like, no. Yeah. The struggle's real. What struggle? Yeah. What struggle? He put it all on the cross. It is finished. It's done with. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. Like, are we living from here? Are we living from pre-Jesus? This was over 2,000 years ago. Let's wake up. Let's get it. Let's actually be intentional about what we have because Jesus, he already paid for it. I have healing. I've been healed. I'm healed. I have wealth. He did it. He said he would do it. He got me all these pleasures. Ecclesiastes 2.24 says this. It says, so I decided there is nothing better than to enjoy food and drink and to find satisfaction in work. Then I realized that these pleasures, these pleasures, someone say pleasures, Ooh, someone write yeah. out pleasures. These pleasures, here it is, are you ready? Are from the hand of God. Amen. Come on, you've got a blessed like. God wants, God is your heavenly father who wants to bless you. I'm not telling you he just wants to bless you for like he will bless you. Yeah. He's going to bless you. We live that out. We live that out daily. Like that's God. Like he, we understand Luke and I have come to this realization that he loves us. He really does love us. He really does have us in finances, in health, and like fill in the blank. Like he's got it all. He's done it all for us. And you have to accept that. Exactly. Like you have to, you have to genuinely think about it and accept it and then like adopt that mindset. You know? 100%. It, it doesn't make sense, right? Like the whole, if you think about, you know, none of us are worthy and da da da. But like scratch all that he paid the price it's done for whether you think you're worthy or not you know what i'm saying like you've been bought right and so you just have to accept what's already there for you to exactly. for the taking you know an abundant life yeah um i was gonna say it's funny that you brought up uh though i walked through the valley of the shadow of death so that's Psalm 23, 4, right? Psalm 23 has six verses. The first one starts out with, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me by side still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Boom. That sounds amazing. Doesn't sound like a valley. Right. Doesn't sound like you should be mis yeah. uh, living a miserable life. It sounds like he leads you into opportunities. He leads you into, you know, you don't even have to want, right? goes through the valley of shadow death and then it goes to you prepare a table before me in front of the in in the presence of my enemies okay so i don't have to worry period and then even when my enemies show up you already have the victory for me so it's like no like i can't i can't buy into the woe is me yeah. you have to be miserable to be a christian i just i can't i can't do it it doesn't make sense right the fullness of joy is not miserable, you know? And that's the thing, like, once you get it, once you accept it, when you hear something that's not that, or kind of like, you know what I'm saying, opposite, it, it, it rubs you the wrong way because you're like, that's not me. Yeah. Like when someone's like, okay, hey, all, you know, and I get, like, at a church because there's, there's, there's sheep and yeah. everyone's going through something or there's, you know, even people who have just gotten saved, and so I get that. But if I'm listening to something specifically towards me and relying it to my life, I'm like, well, wait a second. I'm not depressed. Yeah. I I don't have anxiety. I'm I'm not, you know. Yeah, that's, I mean, like, you know, the world, right? We I think you explained it earlier. The world, you know, we refer to as people that aren't Christ-like. Um, but, like, you know, at your job or whatever, people from the world, if they're not joyful or whatever, okay, you can work with things like that. But, like. To call yourself, to boldly call yourself a Christian and to exercise anything but joy, right? Yeah. 
to exercise, to put effort into, right, to practice anything but joy and being and being f- like just joyful in the Lord yeah. is is a disgrace. It is. You're literally doing it because you, you're just doing an injustice um, to everybody who's ever thought about being a Christian. Why would why would you you know what I'm saying? Why would you want to be a Christian if you well, not have to only live that, in life? Like I think why would about you? it personally. Like, oh, hundred percent. You sure. know? Yeah, it's like, ooh, why Wh- would I want to go? Oh, let me let to me church. let me yeah let me uh, uh, take away my carnal desires. Let me let me stop doing all these things that I've wanted to do and been doing for years and da 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 to be miserable. Miserable. Right. That is, that's not to true. not have everything taken care of. No. To not be set apart, You're to right. not live in favor. You're right. Like the the mentality needs to shift to the word of God, to what Amen. you've been promised. Because if not, you're right. It's almost like you're saved, but you don't know. Like you haven't searched it out. Like you haven't maybe lived it out. Yeah. And that changes everything once you do that. Once you really And you've heard yourself. this. So like if you're hearing this, boom. The excuse is gone, right? You know that you can pray yourself. You know that you can think yourself, and you know that you already have joy on the inside of you being a Christian, right? And that's the thing, like, that's what, that's how powerful a relationship is with the Lord. Because the Bible says that the Holy Spirit produces joy. So if you don't have this alive relationship with God, if you're not talking to him, if you're not if you're not taking time and you're praying and you're conversating with him or you are mindful of him throughout your day or you're not getting in your word, what are you allowing the Holy Spirit to produce in your life? Nada. You have to ask the question somewhere. Whoa, that was Ouch. wild. That thing just like bounced out. <laughs> but you really do. You have to ask the question somewhere yeah, yeah. because if not, then you're just going to live a miserable life and then you're going to get to heaven and then God's going to be like, what you, you been know what doing? I'm that meme? I don't even know what the animal is. And he's like this, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and it's like, dude, like what? Like I gave you everything and you decided to live in misery. You decided you decided to stay in poverty. You decided to stay in that mentality. And it's like, you've literally been given everything and it's yours for the taking. So go and take it. He has done everything. What else do you want him to do? If he didn't do another other thing, it's fine. He gave you the Holy Spirit. It's fine. He gave you the word of God to put stuff in action with your faith. It's fine. Use your faith, put it to action. Faith without works is dead. Get going. What do you want? It's right there. Take it. Do you not perceive it? Do you not see it? Wake up. You can have a fun life. You can just have fun here. It doesn't have to be worry. It doesn't have to be dreadful. It doesn't have to be miserable. You can enjoy life like the Bible says you can, like it's been promised to you. You really can. It says in Ecclesiastes 2.24, to enjoy food. We yeah. could, I mean, I don't know if it's a big deal, but we could prop it up on the desk. I know it's going to be the shot. It's totally fine. We'll just lay it flat. I, well, so we can see. No, it's fine. You can prop it up. On your mic. Kabang. I'm on the mic. Oh, really? Yeah, like right here. You see that thing? Oh, look at everything. You, you got, I got you. Ecclesiastes 2.24. There's nothing better than to enjoy food food can we talk about food for a second is that cool Let's talk here about babe it. i'm gonna i'm gonna actually pop it up right here Ugh. beautiful all right food like we said we cook we um do all the things we um, we do all the things so here's the thing here's funny so here's a funny <laughs> i got a funny for you are you ready for this funny um so yeah when we travel like we said we're gonna go to colorado this month But um, we literally go, and I will look up and Google food, like great restaurants. On your birthday last year, we actually went to Colorado on his birthday last year year too. We found the cutest hole-in-the-wall place in Colorado. 
I don't even remember what town we were in for your birthday. Do you remember that? <laughs> we like literally. We just usually go stay to at so yeah. Many. We usually yeah. stay at like three or four places yeah. every time we go. Just like again, snow. There was actually a blizzard that night. Do you remember? Yeah. That was cool. That was kind of fun because we went over this really small bridge and we had to go like a mile per hour. And yeah, we were on like the verge of death. Yeah, it was cool. It was awesome. I'm dead serious. Yeah. It was so much fun. I don't know if you guys like like being so close to death, but I, I love it because I know just like my time is going to come. So I'm just like, ah, this is so much fun. Like, <laughs> I could fly. We, we wear that verse out. You know what I mean? <laughs> Time has not come. I literally it. said that verse yesterday, yeah. which is funny. Yeah. <laughs> Any death-defying thing. <laughs> it's My time has not come. Wow. I don't like roller coasters, but I like stuff like that. But anyways, no. we found this cute hole-in-the-wall place on his birthday, and we ate there, and it was so good. What was that um, appetizer? Mussels. Yeah. That I was going to say clams. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. I it think was it was our first time having them. Yes. It was, was it clams? So no, it was mussels. Are clams mussels? I don't know. They could be. Maybe they're cousins. But it was, like, so good. Like, it was delicious. So, anyways, not only that, like, we'll eat breakfast like that, like, lunch, dinner, all that stuff. And so, it was just so, like, we love doing that. And we like, hey, it says food. We love food. We do. We do. That always, like, um, powers me up during a fast because I'm, like, I'm about, I'm going to eat. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be like, so good. Yeah. When, when the day, when the hour comes. It usually hits harder. That's what I've realized. I realized that. Like, it's like, oh, no, because if it's oh, something the, specific. The, the worst part of a fast is the final, like, 30 minutes. Yeah. And it, and it, it hasn't always been, but, like, sometimes, like, it's, I've been, it's been, like, but like the whole the like whole that. fast, I'm, I'm like, all right, cool. Like, I got, I got the power of God inside of me. Right, right. Like, I'm good. You're not even hungry. He's withstanding me. I'm like, wow, yeah. I can do all this stuff without eating. Da, da, da. That 30 minutes comes up. I'm, like, pacing around, trying to, like, <laughs> turn off all the clocks and reset the time. You know, just, like, man. For me. Uh, Luckily, our clock is set, like, nine minutes fast. So, I mean, uh, late. Fast. Yeah, fast. Fast. Yeah. It's fast. It's yeah. fast. Yeah. It's fast. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was time to eat one time, and it was nine minutes fast, so I still had nine more minutes. Woo! For me, rec- the most what recent do do? was, it was because, like, I had something prepared to eat. Remember that? Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, bet, like, to the minute, and I've never done that. Uh, w- w- one other time I did that. Uh, but, like, to the T, I was like, gonna eat i'm gonna like you know like don't look at the clock don't look at the clock but like he says that like food is for your pleasure like to enjoy to have a good time he knew you were gonna need to eat so much in your lifetime in a day and so why not have a good time doing it why not eating what you enjoy to eat you know whatever that is uh if it's chicken nuggets it's chicken nuggets but don't eat that every day Shout out to all the chicken nugget eaters. All the chicken nugget lovers out there. The chicken nugget lovers. <laughs> Man, that's a group them, right there. Them chicken nuggies. Them chicken nuggies. <laughs> Shout out to all those chicken nugget and pizza eaters. Uh-oh. Hey, again, not every day. Not every day. Balance, proper balance. You don't want to you don't want to see the Lord too soon. Yeah. <laughs> That sounds terrible. Yeah, you don't want to see him before. What have you done with your whole life? Just eat chicken nuggets <laughs> and and pizza. Drink a, co- a code blue Mountain Dew, <laughs> two liter. Mountain Blues are uh, Mountain Dews are blue. Mountain Blues. Mountain Blues, that's a thing. Yeah, code blue. Really? Yeah, they have a red one too. Whoa. It's like the uh, Baja Blast. I know that's the Mountain Baja Dew. Blast, the green one. Yeah. But I didn't know. Hey, the Baja Blast. They're good. <laughs> they are good. We do like those. I tell you what. And that's the thing. Like, wh- how much is one of those, babe? Like two bucks, if that. The slushy one. Yeah, or a regular yeah. one. They're both Either way, ones. hey, any Taco Bell lovers, you, you get the box. You get the $5 box. With you get a drink. drink that comes with it. So, yeah, like we're talking about things that are like even like five bucks, two bucks. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's not out of your way. Like Yeah, we didn't have to go to Cancun on a on yeah. a, on a $5,000 trip exactly. and, and, and drink mimosas all day with our girlfriends exactly. and da-da-da-da. Like, no. We 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 have fun every day. Like it doesn't, yeah. you know. I just can't stress that enough. Yeah. Like have fun even when it doesn't make sense. Like make people wonder why you are able to have fun. 
like make that beat, make that set you apart is that you're able to have fun in situations that no one else can. Yes. You know, like if you go into a situation that's, that's already miserable, like you, you make it, yeah. you make it fun. Right. You know, we've been, we've said it at things that, that were, you're what, right. yeah. w- that what people might label them as mis- miserable um, but, not us. but yeah not us we're going to laugh we're gonna make jokes we're gonna have fun we're gonna if we can't talk we'll we'll text each other you know what i mean like mm-hmm. we're gonna have a good time exactly if you're not married find you some bros or some or some go. some chicos yeah. some chicas chicas chicos depending on what gender you are chicas. male female female male there you go yeah that's how it goes it took three years of spanish man you're doing I, great babe three years you're doing really good I or you were nothing, clothing nothing place. but my all my family is firefighters, so I learned bombero, hmm. and I used it in every sentence, every test, wow. everything we could. Wow! And if you are single, look for someone. This is gonna be you know a little crazy. Who's happy? Hey. Because why the heck? Before you look for someone that's happy, surround yourself with friends that are happy. Hundred percent. You have to have joy in your friend circle, like it's in true. all your relationships, right? Very like true. you're not even going to find a, a go-getter if if you're not even able to have fun yourself. It's true. If you can't take a joke and give a joke properly, right? There's people that are like, I can take a joke, and, you know, and they just roast you like <laughs> hard. And you're like, man, I don't, I don't know how good you are at remember telling jokes. Remember what you jokes. did in second grade? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, remember that time you peed your pants? And you're like, I mean. I was like four. Yeah, I'm like, I, I like this girl. She's right. She she can hear you too, you know? Exactly. Like, like, yeah, you need some good friends. That's a good point. Yeah. You know, and, and but same time, the, what do they call it? The ca- caveat? Flip flat, flip side? I don't know. What Vice versa? Caller. I don't know. Um, Be able to take a joke, huh? For a shocker right there, huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Be able to take a joke. You know, and that's the thing, like people don't like some people, none of our amazing, amazing viewers or listeners today, but some people don't have a good time themselves. So when they get around high energy, like people who are just excited, it's almost like, what the heck? Like this is foreign, you know? Yeah. And I think, I think joy stops with a lot of people because and like the whole like taking jokes, like being able to take a joke or laugh at yourself. I think I think that if you're not confident in who you are and in yourself, that's what it is. Then you can't make funny jokes. Like you can't take funny jokes. 100%. Like you're gonna you're gonna say some some stuff like trying to slide people, you know, oh, and, yeah. and, and like the, like the low key hurt them. Yeah, out. or like call them out it and happens. stuff like that. Like it happens. Like, you have to be confident in who you are before yeah. you ever try to make a, 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 like, make a joke or have fun with someone else. Exactly. You, know? I, I, you made me think of this. Um, I was preaching on a Sunday a few weeks ago, and I had said something, and the way that I said it, like, I stumbled over my words, and, and then it, like, sounded like a country, like, accent, and I'm, that's not my, you know, go-to. I don't usually talk like that, and so I just played off with it. And people just started laughing. And a lady came up to me afterwards and telling me how funny that was and that her cousin was laughing so hard. And I was like, oh, wow, I'm so great. that I'm so glad that that, you know, memorable moment when I ripped myself up, you know. Glad you're laughing at my expense. But I played off of it is what I'm saying. Like, it's no big deal, but he hit it right. Like, you've got to be, like, comfortable with who you are, like, your identity. Because you're right. You know how weird it is when people mess up a word like that and just keep going and like they <laughs> they try to act like they just didn't even didn't even and you're like this? butcher that word? You're yeah. Like- yeah. <laughs> My wife will say something sometimes and she'll just she'll she'll say a word like a, a completely made up word to me and just go on and finish her sentence and like look at me for the answer and I'm still stuck on that word. I'm like, I didn't hear anything oh, after I ask Luke, like, okay. Oh yeah. So English is my first language, but I'm not great at it. And so, but I ask Luke, like, I'll literally ask him, like, what is this? Like, what am I trying to say? I don't know what it is, but it is so amusing and hysterical. But I'll literally ask Luke, like, 
what, what am I trying to, like, what is this word? Like, am I saying this or what is this word? Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, and then you can't get flamed, you know, because then you just asked. You didn't yeah. have to say it first, you know? Yeah, I'll flame myself. I'll make up a word. Yeah. I will literally make up a word. It's happened. It, it happens. It happens. But we have a good time. Like, we do. you should have a good time. You should have a good time in your marriage. You should have a good time in your friends. Uh, you should have a good time at work. Like, you should have a good time. That's what it's about. It's about living this life with God and having a good time, enjoying life, enjoying this blink of an eye life that we've been given. And, like, stop trying to live up to whatever, you know, parents or or friends' parents or just generations kind of before you have maybe set up as being professional or being um, having it all together or whatever. Like as long as you're going according to what God has said and what the Bible has said, you're good. If people are like, oh, you know, so you got that job yet? You know, da 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 Like I used to be, you know, for instance, like my, you know, my dad would ask me like, Okay, so like you know, you ready to work? Da, 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 and I would feel the need to, 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 to create something or to say something or, or to get real serious, you know. And oh yeah, you know, I got this plan and that plan. Da, da, da. And then whenever I finally realize like I'm doing what God has called me to do and I'm and I'm walking with Him, that kind of broke all that off. And you know, I would I would get asked that after. And I'd be like, well, I'm actually, um, you know, I'm, I'm not doing anything today or I didn't work today or I, I, you know, I have this going or whatever it was, you know, and, and not feel pressured or like that you have to have it all together, right? Like you have it all together by following God. Like you, you have it all together by living in his, in his purpose for you, yeah. you know, not to get too deep, but, um, <laughs> seriously, like it, uh, you know, so many people just, oh, yeah, you know, I've been in the, I got my business started and I got six years of school ahead of me for this. And you're like, you know, like, how long have you wanted to do that? And you're like, well, you know, I went through the, uh, what is it, aptitude test and uh, it told me that I should be a chiropractor. And, and, I, and I figured since they make 100K uh, or 200K a year or whatever, then I'm going to, I'm going to go do that. And it's like. Okay. Well, what did God tell you to do? What did yeah. you know? Um, but yeah, just you know, confidence yeah. in yourself, right? Not cockiness, right? We all know that, but confidence in who God's created you to be and what you're walking out. Yeah, that's good. You be you. That's good. All right, I got one last verse for us. It's this: First Timothy chapter six, verse seventeen says, teach those who are rich in this world not to be proud and not to trust in their money, which is so unreliable. Their trust should be in God, who richly gives us all we need for our enjoyment. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. That's it. It's not the rich that are bad. God can make you rich. Amen. You know? I thought she was taking a hand off. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Snap out of football. That. But literally one of my favorite verses, John 10, 10. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I have come that you may have life and life more abundantly. It's just so good. And life more abundantly. It's literally his heart for you to enjoy this life. It's not miserable life until you die someday. No, it's not. And it's not even like when I die and go to heaven and then I'm going to have this mansion and then I'm going to No. What are you doing now? Exactly. Have fun now. Like, aren't you a son of God, a daughter of God right now? Things are cool. Things are cool. What do you mean? Things are cool. Right. Like like a car, whatever. Things in life like they're not just a. it's not like a whole facade and just everything's evil that's fun you and da 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 da. da. Right, like, babe. things are fun. I get, you know, to, to each his own, right? Like, yeah. certain things are over the top to certain people. That's fine. Like, leave that to you. Don't judge other people with that. Right. But, like, things are fun. This coffee 
tastes great. I have a smile on my face because this was brought to me. Exactly. It's not we like it's not like oh man I need my coffee for every single thing like it's not it's not freaking out it's not you know being addicted to co- like it's just I enjoy coffee and yeah that's what I'm gonna drink. Another thing Luke enjoys is playing video games. That's not a sin. He's having a good time. What? Like you know what I'm saying? Like there's things that you can enjoy. Like that's that's life. Yeah. You know. Oh, God, God's there with you 24-7. Like, can we wake up? Like, are you leaving God in a prayer closet and then you live your life? That that would suck. No. Like, have a good time with God 24-7. He loves you. Don't you think he wants to see you smile? Someone literally bought me an expensive pair of shoes recently. And God put it on their heart to do it. You think... Oh, I'm not going to get Marissa's shoes. That's like God saying this. He he loves you. Like the little things, video games, shoes, like whatever it is. Like he wants you to enjoy life. You know what I'm saying? Like enjoy it. Do whatever you got to do. If yeah. Christmas is your season, go and see Christmas lights with your family. Go and get dollar hot chocolates, be in the car, and just drive around and have the time of your life. If snow is what you're about, you got to drive out of Texas for right now, and you got to go see some snow somewhere and let that smile be all over your face. What is it? Like, what are the little things? What are the daily things? What are something you can do in two weeks? Like, what's something you can plan? Like, enjoy this life. This is for you. You have the dominion. You, it's you. Go, take it. It's for the taking. Have a great life. And just remind your face to 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 express your great <laughs> life, right? I have to do that. Like I have, I have a, a you know a, a resting super mad convict look. You know, like <laughs> when I'm fully chilling, people are like, "All right, man, like you know, protect." You know, who's this guy? Who's coming in they, here? They pull their kids closer. Like yeah, that. right. <laughs> okay, honey, don't don't shake his hand. Don't. Uh, but like I have to remind myself, you know, and especially like I'll, I'll be I'll be worshiping sometimes and just really like connecting, connecting and then, you know, giving thanks, whatever. And then I reach this point where like I'm like, man, like I feel joy on the inside of me, but like I'm still making like my regular face and I can feel it. So like I'll literally smile. Smiling's not the most comfortable thing for me to be to be real with you. It's I'm not the stash. The, it's the stash. That yeah, I, yeah. yeah, I like I've, I've transferred to like the smirk, you know, the. You know, so so it doesn't mess up my uh, mustache. But um, no, seriously, you have to remind yourself to like, like I have. So for instance, I have a very dry sense of humor. So you can ask friends around me that like I have to kind of remind them or like give them a lead that I am am playing around or I'm not serious, Mm. you know, because I can sound very serious. And be completely fine or be joking, right? But I have to remind myself that with my words, right, and with my face, like, show and display that you are joyful. Me, I'll just say something in point one second. (laughs) Whatever bubbles up out of me, I'm just saying. (laughs) Get wrecked. Right. (laughs) True, though. Very true. Remind your face that you're joyful. (laughs) If you look like a convict. If you look like a convict. And if you look sweet, then... Maybe toughen up. <laughs> this is for get loose a, jokes. <coughs> get a tougher face. <laughs> if you're, get yeah. some bubble, get, chew on some bubble gum or something. Get a jawline, you know. We should ask them. When's the last time you've laughed? When's it? When's the last time you've laughed? Like a good laugh, like a good, like you know, belly laugh, like like a. Oh, oh. Yeah, oh. a good like Santa a, a Santa laugh. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's good. Old Saint Nick. We literally cry laughing. Yeah. I'll At stupid stuff. St- like stupid Like stuff. really dumb stuff that but we w- can't even tell you about. <laughs> <laughs> like goofy stuff. Goofy stuff where like we don't even talk about it later. Yeah. So goofy. Like something will happen and we'll just die laughing and then like touch on the subject for a second just to make sure that we weren't dreaming or like <laughs> tripping. And I'm like, all right, what? Well, that, that goes back in the... Uh, 
the cha- chamber. <laughs> that goes back in the chamber. <laughs> right? That goes back in the, yeah, in the closet. That's, uh. I can't even think of the last day we haven't laughed. Like, day. Like, yeah. that's just, I mean, I can't think. And of that's that. not just who we are, right? That's who we've chosen to be, and yeah. that's who God that's has made his people to be. Yes. Everyone has their own you know, individual purpose and, 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 and role to play and your calling and everything like that. Right. Everybody's not the, the CEO of every company. Everybody's not, um, the life of every single party or whatever, you know what I mean? But like you can do your role exceptionally well if you will just tap into what God has given you, you know, like you, you really can, be the best at what you are supposed to be. Yeah. And when you do that, you'll start to notice that like, even if it's a, I don't want to say lesser role, but like, even if it's not the head of the party or sure. whatever, even if it's uh, the person behind the scenes, kind of like making the food or whatever, like when you dive into it and you make amazing food, every single person at that party, even yeah. when the, the, the person, yes. you know, that's the, the show of the party, they're like, man, who made this food? Da, 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 da. can yeah. we have the recipe can you come help us with this and da, 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 da. like again food is in there right yeah and you hit to find satisfaction satisfaction in work that's in ecclesiastes 224 to enjoy food find satisfaction in work and you will be the most satisfied when you tap into the joy listen listen here for a living let's go Here i pick are. up trash come on let's go I, I go and <laughs> this is so good. Like it's so powerful. It's just hilarious. I go and pick up trash for a living. <laughs> and I know you're expecting me to say something else. Like maybe, maybe no, I do something before well, or maybe that's like one aspect of my job or whatever. But like the only thing I do is pick up trash. And so that probably exactly i'm a professional dumper that's what uh that's what uh that's what's up um and that sounds miserable and it kind of is miserable like in in just the activity when you think of it as like just a job yeah Yeah. like i mean that's not like i've never should be real honest with you i never in grade school was like i'm gonna grow up to be a dumpster guy like i'm gonna I'm going to grow up to be a trash picker. I've never seen at a job fair that you're like, oh, hey, dumpster diving right here. Yeah, exactly. Right. And so, um, oh, man, Uh, these comments are wild. Um, So I say all that because even we had I had a a good friend of mine uh, come to work with me the other day. And uh, the first thing he does, right, is pop in some AirPods. And I'm like looking at him like I don't have any I, I didn't bring mine. I was like, man, I guess I'll have to bring mine next time. Like, I didn't know we we're going to work in silence. Like, this is what I do every day. Um, and he was like, what? Like you work in silence or whatever? And I was like, yeah, I just, you know, like me and my thoughts, like I'll make myself crack up, to be honest. Like, it's not even that funny, but like it's funny to me. So and nobody else can. I'm not a tough crowd to myself. You know, I'll laugh at all my jokes. Anyways, um. Yeah, so he's like, okay, like I'll, I'll put the AirPods up, and we had a great time. Like we laughed the whole time. We were picking up actual trash, not like fun trash or like cardboard boxes, like in your garbage. In your garbage, like banana pills and and old <laughs> Coke cans and, and and beer bottles and stuff like that, right? So like gross, like it's nasty, but like we had a great time because. I know that's where I'm supposed to be. That's good. I'm not going to go spend a couple hours and be miserable. Like picking up, like the physical aspect of picking up trash is miserable itself. So why would I make the mental part miserable yeah. on top of that? Right. Mm-hmm. And so I say all that to say, like, it flies by. We got done in, you know, half a day's time and it's quick and easy. And so you can make things that either are perceived as miserable or actually miserable yeah. fun by just fixing like your attitude. That's good. Right. hundred percent. So you can have the 
best time of your life picking up trash. Picking up trash. Like you got that. Wherever you're at. Joy, there it is. You're not trash. trash. You're just picking it up. <laughs> that's our motto. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I have to remind him every day. <laughs> She gets me ready for work. <laughs> I just <laughs> she tightens up my trashy <laughs> tie, my tra my trash, <laughs> my trash tie, and she says, "You're not trash. You just pick it up." <laughs> and I'd give her a kiss, but I'm wearing like my work stuff, and it smells so bad. <laughs> you don't even want to be around me. You know, <laughs> the dump the dump gets nasty. <laughs> I have shoes that are just permanently stained, <laughs> like Dunzo. Like not like you'd think stain like oh stain color stain, <laughs> like it smell, it smell stain. Yeah, I saw him the other day. Is that blood? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what what'd you what you pick up today? <laughs> who d who dropped off what? Did you murder like twenty bugs and <laughs> with your shoes, and then climb through a muddy? No, that's just the dump. Uh, just a Tuesday. Just a, just a Tuesday. <laughs> Trash on a Tuesday. But you hit it, and you said it earlier. You said along the lines of being where you're called to be instead of just going after riches, just like First Timothy said. Like, it's not about that. It's about where you're called to be, and that's where you're going to enjoy. That's where you're going to find that joy. That's where it's, like he said, not going to make sense. So whatever, God, God has called you to somewhere specific, and so wherever that is, like, you're going to have the time of your life oh, well, I was going to make X amount of money here. Now I'm here. Look, it's going to be more than you. And God is going to give you all those riches, literally riches, wealth as well. It's it's not a worry. It shouldn't be a worry in your mind knowing that you're where God has you to be because that is literally. And that's the thing. When you know that you're where God has called you to be at that specific time, it it takes all the doubt. Yeah. It takes all the the worry. Because, I mean, like, when you get to a tough spot in your job, right, physically, mentally, or whatever, that's what's going to carry you through it is knowing, like, okay, I'm here for a higher purpose. I'm here for yeah, this. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm expectant of the future. I'm expectant of of, of uh, increase, of, of uh, moving up in this job or yeah. getting the next job. Whatever it is. Like, what it, like, it could be a million different things, but – that's what's going to fight doubt um, besides you actually doing it, right, and praying and everything. Living in that is going to, as soon as those thoughts come up, you have something to fight it with. Exactly. Instead of, like, the thought comes up and you're like, what on earth am I doing here? Yeah. Like, this is, m you know what I'm saying? It's good. That's, that's really where good. you, and when that happens, that's when you can go into, it's not, that's not whenever you just get full of, 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 Oh my gosh, and da da da. That's when you go into prayer and say, "All right, God, I I I don't feel you in this anymore. What's next for me? You know what 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 where where do you have me to go? Like if you if you if you somehow, you know, have felt peace or or felt a, a certain thing like you're like where you're supposed to be for years or whatever, and then that leaves. That's when you go to God and you're like, okay, what's next? Got you. He yeah. Has the supposed to be when you're supposed to be there and that's where that enjoyment fulfillment all that is going to be at yeah no you will you will have joy where he's called you to be Amen. and if there's not joy there and you're unable to to create it then you need to ask god where you need to be unable to activate it unable to activate it yeah not yeah. make yourself but like the if Holy it's Spirit truly not there that. yeah like if it's if you're just Every day, like you're just making yourself have a good time. I mean, you can make yourself like happy, right? But at like the same versus time, joyful. It's gonna fall on that Holy Spirit producing it in yeah. your life, like exactly. you activating what's already there. Exactly. I can be a joyful person, right? As a Christian, even if I'm not wherever I go, right? Exactly. Like regardless, you know. And so, you can be in prison and be praising, like Paul. Amen. It doesn't matter your location. You've got God. You're enjoying life. You can eat whatever steak, whatever meal you want. Whatever. Whatever steak. <laughs> whatever you're into. I don't know about There's, you. There was a comma in there. You can eat whatever. 
steak as like a suggestion. But for real, let this day forward be something different from you. Um, thank you guys for being with us. Thank you for tuning in again every Thursday at 11 a.m. And thank you, Luke, for being here with us. Being joyful. For just being, Jared. Thank you for just being. Thank you for having me. Hey, always my pleasure. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know what it made me think of? Hmm. Is when you come home from work when you're talking about that and you're like dirty, like you said. We will literally kiss like this. <laughs> Like, because he's so, like, entrenched in it. You know what Because he's so filthy. <laughs> he's just this gross, nasty thing coming in the house. Hold on. On the real, though, like, if I smell something, like, really pungent, Blech. I will do that. That was pretty close. And I was. I don't, I don't usually do that good of an impression. Like, I don't want to do that on my Blech. husband. Like, that's terrible. Like, I'd rather do that to, like, spoiled Blech. milk, you know? If you bring... <laughs> What? What are we gonna say? What are we gonna say? <laughs> if you bring up the word mustard, if oh, you wear a yellow shirt, stop, stop. if you wear a yellow shirt, I feel like Jake literally said that as soon as you put that in the comments. As soon as you said that, she might. That's good. She might. No, throw not up. yellow shirt. Right. You're ridiculous. What? I just don't like mustard. Like I'll eat anything. Quick story before we get off. <clears throat> we were eating at a restaurant one time. I forget where. You'll probably remember as I'm telling it. Um, and this, this they bring out this amazing meal, whatever it was. It tasted fantastic. And she takes a bite of it, or like maybe like dips her finger in the sauce, something like that, to that effect. And and she's like, "There's mustard in this." I'm like, no, there's not. Like I, you know, read the menu and everything. Our waitress comes by and she's like, "Hey, is there any mustard in this?" person's like i don't know like i just learned the menu like i i'm sorry she's like 16 yeah i didn't she's like i don't have the calorie count and uh saturated fats just on deck like let me go ask my uh, my boss and so they go back there and uh, the manager comes up and he's like yeah it actually did it has a you know a mustard in the uh in the formula and i lost it it was hilarious but who can taste mustard in the comments, who can taste mustard mixed in with other things? I guess you can. I mean, like, you can. Let's not forget Max's party. <laughs> but that was wild. Yeah. Y'all ever had a beef Wellington? I literally stopped eating, and I questioned in my mind. Like, I didn't even have to ask God. I was just like, I, there's mustard in here. <laughs> Look, one, one more shout-out to the comments. Have y'all ever had a beef Wellington? Do y'all know the name Gordon Ramsay? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Scallops. Scallops. Coming to the pass. Um, she tasted the uh, mustard base in the uh, beef wellington as well. Yeah. I don't know if that's how it's regularly made. but uh, Sad. So yeah. sad. But, yeah. hey, it happens. You know, yeah. some people just don't like mustard, you know. If anybody <laughs> out there doesn't like mustard, will you just – Please she relate. listen listen relate. to this. <clears throat> My wife oh. is amazing, right? And if I specifically like want something to eat or want to uh, specifically she makes like this like she makes a bomb sandwich. Let's be real. Okay. And when she makes said sandwich, she only puts mayonnaise on there. And so in the past, I have literally been like, you know, da -da 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 -da, and mustard and somehow, some way, she doesn't, it's not like she's like, no, I won't put mustard on there. But somehow, some way, within the next five minutes, I end up in the kitchen making my own sandwich, putting mustard on it. And it's like her like, yeah, babe, like, I'll get it. And then some, somehow it's she finagles smell. her way, like, it's out of it. It's the smell. It's so. And she's like, somehow she, like, and it's cool, because it usually, like, the flip side of it is she'll, like, you know, start doing the dishes or like do like laundry or like or like something else. But like somehow she gets she all somehow my, gets busy when I ask her. That I enjoy doing. Yeah, she gets busy when I ask her uh, for mustard There's on this. There's just sandwich. something about just getting the grind on it. It's just so much fun to me. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I love casting demons out. I love just cleaning grime. <laughs> mustard, mustard is is a demon to. It's just a so. smell. Like it's got this strong smell. Like it's I, a demonic smell. It's really yeah. That's what hell smells like to her. It's a bunch of mustard everywhere. 
<laughs> just, just mustard. It's fountains of mustard. Boiling yes. mustard. Just Ever up. quenching it's mustard. It's mustard with no liquid. It's just the, the solidness. It's the fire that's never quenched. It's powdered the mustard. That never dies in the mustard. <laughs> See, she's about I to. I thought about it too long. I know. I just thought about it too I've long. said the word mustard. Well, Blech. again, we've enjoyed this time with you guys. Yes. We love y'all so much. Um, let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you for every single person that's watching and viewing this and that will view this. I just speak right now, Lord, that they would have an understanding of life and life more abundantly. That from this day forward, from this Thursday forward, that they would enjoy life, that it wouldn't happen down the road eventually when this comes to pass, when this shows up, when so-and-so is, no, Lord, now, today, let it be the funnest they've ever had. Let them laugh from their bellies even today, Lord. Let them cry laughing so hard and let them know that you are alive and that you are for them and that you love them like crazy. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. We love you guys. We will see you next Thursday.